So today we'll be talking about a couple of strategies, you know, that would help us within our businesses to grow. And so let me start with the idea of growth. Who can define growth for me? Growth. What do you understand by growth? From one level to another. From one level to another. Who else wants to give a shot at that? An increment from a step or a stage to another level. An increment from a stage to another level. So there's a level. That's the common word. Any other person wants to give a try? No wrong answers. No wrong answers. What do you understand by growth? A transformation process. A transformation process. You see, at this point, I want to tell you point blank that as a CEO or the director of a company, you need to clearly define what growth means to you. The reason why a lot of businesses don't make money, don't progress, is that the people running the businesses can't define growth. Yes, yes, somebody. Can I come again? The people who are in those businesses can't define growth. So for five years, you have opened this shop space, you have opened this uh, manufacturing company, and you are still doing the same thing for five years. And that is why there is no single business in Nigeria also that has lasted over 100 years. If you know anyone, give it to me. Let me, let me have the name. A Nigerian business that has lasted 100 years. There is none. And because there is none, your business will likely not exist again in the next 80 years. No matter how beautiful your business is, until you can sincerely define what growth is to you and set clear objectives. The only business that looks like, oh, okay, it's like 100 plus years is the Union Bank or you say First Bank. But guess what? They are not Nigerian businesses because they all started as foreign companies before they were acquired. But how has, you know, companies like Coca-Cola, companies like Guinness, you know, companies like PZ, how have they been able to last lots and lots of years? So as a CEO today, I want to ask you, what is your definition of growth? Take a moment to think about it. What does growth mean to you? A lot of us don't even really care. The fact that they are calling us CEO, when you enter a place, you just say, yeah, the CEO, chief executive director, aka, e, 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 that's it. Okay, so I tell a quick story. I tell you a, a quick story. We all have seen a baby before. You have watched a baby grow before, right? If it's not your baby, it's somebody's baby. You have been around where a baby is born, and then before you know it, a baby who couldn't talk, it starts to say, da. Da, then he has the remaining D, becomes what? Daddy. Yes, yes? yes, yes. What's that? What do you call that? Oh, Growth. Yeah. You see that a baby that could not walk, you know, three months ago, all of a sudden start to take, is our first step. And people are like, don't shout, don't shout. Oh my God, what's going on? And then the baby takes the first step, the second step, and then she falls on the third step. What do you call that? Oh, Growth. A baby who had no teeth at all. And all of a sudden, you begin to see a white substance just surfacing. You're like, ah, what's this? You're trying to play with the baby to let her open her mouth so that you can see it. And then before you open your eyes again, there's one, there's two. Two up and two down. What do you call that? Growth. You see, a baby who doesn't know anybody before now begins to call people at home names. Rashida. You begin, ah. So she already knows that there's a Rashida in the house. What do you call that? growth you see as kids it's very easy to identify growth because the gap is really wide i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to talk about yes yes, yes, yes. but as adults growth kind of becomes a complicated issue so now that you have grown high to your maximum height like the doctor told me that i can't be longer than this i can't be taller than this but i'm fine with it now you have 32 pieces of See it. You're not going to add anyone again. You're not going to grow taller. So how do you define growth? Very necessary. Now, my personal definition of growth, and I don't mean you may argue it, is, and you, you, you maybe get your own definition of growth from my definition of growth. So I sat down and I thought to myself, 
what is the definition of growth? Growth to me, for adults, is your ability to do today what you could not do yesterday. I'll take that again. As a business, what your business cannot achieve in 2016, if you can achieve it today, then we can say to a, to a point you have... You have what? You have grown. Or maybe a process that, that takes you five hours in 2015, but now it takes you 25 minutes. What do you call that? Growth. Growth. So business owners must intentionally make growth clearly defined. And how do you do that? You need numbers. You need numbers. You need data. We live in an environment where things don't really matter that much. Most of us are in business just to make ends meet. Just so we won't sleep at home. In fact, in fact, a lot of us are in business because we don't have anything to do. Not because it's important for us to be in business. Yes, yes? yes, yes. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. We're not in business because we are crazy about that idea. We're in business because, okay, so now what if they ask you now, what are you doing? What would I now say? Let me, to, let me share, go and register this business name. And so because of that methodology, you have already shot yourself in the leg. You have made up yourself for failure from start. So you need to ask yourself, why are you doing what you're doing? Why exactly are you doing what you're doing? And that helps you to define growth. It helps you to set your objectives. So as a business owner, you need to have a clear direction. And it is not even clear until everybody on your team gets to understand that picture. So that's why I'll be talking a lot about communication in my speech. How do you communicate the vision of the business to people internally and to people externally? And I'll tell you why I'm disappointed in the educational system, just like the CEO had, you know, <laughs> had paraphrased. So, but b before we get into that, your first assignment when you get home today, if you forget everything that we have discussed today, make sure by the time you get home or today, get yourself a definition of growth in the context of your business.